Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully created one of the seeder and here I passed the three of these data that is a demo data as a admin, as end and then for the user, right? Now we have to do, we have to work in our factories and that is our user factories. So into the user factory, you can see that is one of, one of the field as a name by default. Now that will be created some of the fake name in here. Right now I want to do, I want to also, um, if you want to add that username, you can pass it. That is an email. Automatically it's now created some of the fake email as a unique email. That is a safe email. Okay. Which is fine. And then I want to also add our another field. Better I copy it. Like cause here there is also another field like as a photo, the phone, address. Okay. Here and for the role and for the status. Now also I want to assign some of the fake data. If you want to do this work, then we have to work in our user factory. That is a by default password will be one of the hash password. It means the password. Okay. Now better after that. Okay. After that, I want to paste it. I want to add some of the field. Like I want to add some of the fake data for the phone. Okay. That will be our field name, database field name and field area. I want to create some of the fake number. If you want to generate some of the fake number, then also they have another function as a phone number. Okay, phone number so that will be as a phone number now it should be created one of the phone number in particular that area great and then i want to add that another one as the address so that is our database field name here i want to create another fake address so that will be as the address okay that will be as the address fake address now i want to create and then for the photo you can also do this work like i use it as a photo Okay, that will be as a photo and for the photo I want to create some of the fake image. So that is another function as the image URL. Okay, image and then URL. So that is the image URL, image URL like as a 60 by 60 I want to create. So that will be as a 60 by 60. Okay, I want to use it as a 60 by 60. Great. Now this type of one of the image that will be generated. So make that sure spelling is correct as a image. Okay. Image and then URL. Great. And then I want to do and to add our another field as a role. Okay. Role and role field will be, I want to create some of the randomized uh, fake number, our element. So that is also another function as a random, random element. Okay, that will be as a random element. Random element will be our which one here. You can also assign it like that will be create a random element as a admin. Right at then that will be generated as a agent. As the E N T right agent. Right at then that will be generated as a user. That's all. Okay, that will be generated created on the random element. So now perfect. And also our another field as a status. A status a status field will be the same i want to create that random element random element will be as a active or inactive okay sorry that will be as a active or that will be as inactive okay great now this type of one of the active inactive automatically that will be created rather than random element will be created as a admin as end and then the user great okay great so that's all and the photo image fake image will be generated everything will be in here okay friend so make that sure you update it so that's all okay that's all and also there is on the str by default automatically it's now supported as a str which is fine okay which is fine and now we have to work in our main position like first of all to save it click as a save all Right now it's successfully saved. The rest of this will be same. And now we have to go to our main seeder as a database seeder. So into the database seeder, now we have to do, we have to up call this function. Like you can see there's a void as a app model as a user. By default, that will be as a comment. I want to better make it as a comment out. And in here, here I want to don't access it. So if you want to access it, then that will be the these. Okay, then that will be the these. And then we have to do, we have to call. We have to call our which one here we have to call that uh, I have already created one of the seeder as a user stable seeder here now we have to call this class so if you want to call it that will be the users make that sure spelling is correct so that will be the user stable table seeder okay seeder so that will be our user table seeder class so I simply call this class 
okay make that sure you load it that will be the or this and then the call our user table seeder so that is our user table seeder and here also i allocated three of this uh, our user and make that sure you load it and that is our class and in our app model in our factory how many user by default that will be created like here i have created um in particular that position as a three and now our all that fake data will be randomized created how many user you can also assign it by default that will be as a 10 right now i make it as a five that means that will be generated some of the fake data as a five and also here i have used it as a three that means five and three that will be created eight total data right so friend that's all you have to do okay now let's check this out everything is successfully working or not if you want to check it click as a save all and now i want to run it over again right now i have already before migrated right here right now we have to actually re-migrate it that means if you that means if you go if you make it as a php artisan and migrate rate now click as enter it should be display as a nothing to migrate because here i didn't change anything right so for the reasons we have to uh, refresh it so here if you want to refresh then that will be as a php artisan and then migrate okay migrate and migrate will be as a fresh okay that means whatever the data right now table you have it will be again reload migrate your all the database table so i make it as a fresh sh -h. okay f r e sh -h. so that will be as a fresh that means right now our migration will be again fresh and after that i want to do i want to seed it okay then that will be as a seed s w -E d right now that will be refresh our total migrations and again now that will be store all that our demo data okay so make that sure you save it so i have already saved it now let's check this out it's successfully working or not now click as the enter and now you can see dropping all that our previous table and then again it's migrate and after that that is saving our data from to the user stable seeder right and also now it's showing our total time perfect now let's check this out friend if you now go again now our user table if you now refresh it yes you can see it's now successfully inserted our total eight data you can see that is the eight data so it's generated there is a five fake data so that is the five fake data you can see automatically generated some of the name it generated some of the email address and also some of the images phone number address and you also role and then status by default it's now generated so it's generated as a five because of all here i have already allocated that five our fake data that will be comes from to the our user factory and also in our user seeder here i have created three right that is our one two and then three and now if you go as i told you everything will be very clear and you can see it's also now inserted that data as the admin isn't and then the user username i have already added i have added that email address that is all that are fake now our data you can see that is admin 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 at the gmail.com hash make password as a one one role will be as a admin status will be as active now if you go you can see email address the admin the username and also password you can see that is one of created on the hash password for the reason it's now generated on the hash encrypted password but it means that as a one 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 and photo i have already made that all that field as a nonable for the reasons here you can see it's now inserted as a null great and role you can see assign that role as admin data as a admin role and active great i hope friend every part is very very much clear to you okay here we successfully done this job now we have to do we have to also check our registration is working or not because if you go to our table here i have already make it one thing so our role will be as a default user default user will be as a user right now let's check this out and also default that should be as active i want to check it if you now go to our project i want to refresh okay i want to refresh and first of all i want to register it if you go to that register i like i want to for education purpose i want to make it as a test okay that will be the test email as a test at the rate gmail.com and then password i make it as a udemy one two three four five 
Udemy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let's check this out. If you now click as a register, now that should be registered. Yes, you can see right now we are successfully registered and now it's returned redirect to our dashboard. It's now successfully visible. And if you now go to that profile, now everything will be more clear by that breeze by default actually created this type of one of the things that is a profile page from here you can update that profile update the password delete account and that is all the default one if you go to that our route into the web route you can see there is actually by default provided this all that page okay great and into the view into the component that is actually all that our default page so don't worry literally we will actually remove everything we will create as per our demand now if you go to our database now that should be another user as a nine if you now go to that browse and now you can see right now new user is added as a test right and now if you go yes you can see by default role as a user role and status as a active okay friend that means all that our condition everything is successfully now working so right now that is for the user right so that is for the user now from here if you log out if you want to log in and now if you log in with the email i have used it as a test at the rate gmail.com and password you do me one two three four five now logged in yes successfully logged in and that is for the user dashboard and also if you log out i have already inserted some of the data demo data as a user right now i want to also log in with the user at the rate gmail.com and password you remember three four five now logged in yeah you can see it's also successfully getting that our error because of all for the user i have already used one of the password remember i have used that password that should be as a one 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 right so also successfully getting our credential error so i make it as one 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 now logged in yes you can see it's now successfully logged in great great so right now friend that is for the user right so for that is for the user dashboard now i want to also create another dashboard for the admin also i want to create another dashboard for the agent because that will be as a multi-user authentication system so how to do this work in our next video step by step i will show you everything with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video